all righty hello everybody and welcome to the mania the princess level seven key tournament playoff round this is the penultimate match of the playoff stage only two spots left up for grabs in that illustrious round of 32 bracket and we have two more players up to vie for their bid in that in that bracket we have Hollow the Wise going up against Mabels for this round. As always, my name is Sparky, and I am joined in the commentary booth by none other than Dynascape. Dyna, how are you doing? Doing good as always, Sparky. Thank you for the introduction. This match might be another tiebreaker in the making. I know we've got a couple early in, earlier in the weekend, but again, these two players are pretty close when it comes to uh, similar skill sets. Maybe they can take great points off each other, something like that. And really in a first of four, best of seven, anything can happen. Anything can swing wildly towards the other side. 
And so Hollow the Wise, C27 up against Mabel's C38. These are pretty close. And I think we already did have the rolls in order. I believe Hollow the Wise won that one. Yeah, they rolled a 65 to Mabel's 38. And it looks like the ban is already coming through. Mabel is deciding to ban out Surf LN2. And Hollow the Wise responding with Rice 4. Uh, I think we're going to see a bit of a LN versus Rice battle uh, in this match. I think Hollow the Wise is much more comfortable on the LNs uh, than on the Rice. Not saying they can't do it, but they're probably preferring to be in that bottom half of the map pool. And sure enough, with that first pick, LN1 kind of is part of the course here. It's going to be a Guido to start things off. Yeah, it's certainly a wise pick from Hollow the Wise. Uh, got a 6th place finish on LN2 during the qualifiers, which is really, really good. Obviously, the maps here are a lot uh, easier than qualifiers, but definitely goes to show how well they can perform when it comes to uh, the Noodles maps. And LN1 is a good choice, very good choice by Mabel to actually ban LN2, because the funny thing about this pool is that there are only two LN maps, uh, but that is covered by three hybrids so you might say this is more rice leaning but i think hollow the wise can probably find points in other maps as well yeah for sure i look towards hybrid 2 as a potential uh other option once the ln pool is exhausted and we are gonna get underway here i imagine this is going to be a very hotly contested map the overall density of the chart isn't uh, too overbearing, but in saying that, finding slider breaks or even misses on this chart can be incredibly detrimental to your overall score. We have seen uh, some wild swings uh, just based off of singular slider breaks, and there's the first one from Mabel's. Yeah, I think some of these uh, staggered releases can be pretty hard, especially at the start. We already see Mabel's with the first drop. It was very, very clean overall, but that's going to help Hollow the Wise as they have currently a 99.87. That's going to help their 11,000 point lead and ever growing right now. Yeah, for sure. And really just showing off their overall comfort uh, with this lighter pattern LN 99.88 their accuracy for right now. Mabel's starting to catch up a little bit, close that deficit ever so slightly, but now Hollow the Wise is over that 400 combo cap, going to be able to bolster their lead uh develop a bit more of a cushion as mabel starts to get up over that mark the good thing about that earlier break was that it was before that mark so uh hollow the wise didn't have an opportunity to take full advantage of that drop and able to reel in that uh score lead just a little bit here not growing past that fifteen thousand mark despite hollow the wise's best efforts right now yeah uh, Hollow the Wise really going to be tested in this upcoming section. We're going to get a lot more faster LN streams as we get into the, kind of this web web breakdown. And we already see a bit of inaccuracy drop from them. Mabel's has been climbing ever so steadily ever since that drop. It probably would have been, you know, around tied had it not been for that. But regardless, that lead has not been, uh, there's has not been a dent in the lead. Mabel's really does need something to happen. Probably on the other side, I mean, it's really out of their uh, capabilities right now in order to push out a 12,000 point lead. Yeah, for sure. Definitely going to need some assistance here, but they're quickly running out of map to do it. Last couple of sliders coming in here, and it looks like Hollow is going to be able to hang on for the FC here. A 990 score to kick things off on a map that I think by their own admission is probably a sight read here. Of almost V1SS. Oh wow! And without that slider break, I feel like it've been really close, especially with that, with that 100 on the side of Hollow the Wise. Maybe if that 50 turned into something like a 300, it would have been like within hundreds of points. But Hollow the Wise, just the more consistent player on LN, gonna take it, gonna take that first point, and it was their first pick. So up one to zero, and looking at three other maps probably in the hybrid section to try to get this victory out yeah for sure mabel's not wasting any time gonna decide to go up into the rice side of the pool gonna go for rice two here uh jade star one of the more popular picks 
in this pool for a number of players, but surprisingly not getting played all that often, if I recall correctly, at least the matches that I've seen. Uh, haven't seen it pulled out too much. No, it has been picked, but maybe not as much. Something like Speedcore Sonata or Luminous Descent, whenever it does survive. Yeah, I think um, I've only ever seen it played in one other match. That was Howard Dong versus Shiro. I'm pretty sure it probably was played in a couple of the other matches that went very close because we did have three matches that went to tiebreaker so far this weekend. But regardless, I mean, otherwise going to try to get this break point out. Mabel's probably feeling very comfortable when it comes to broken chord streams or similar patterns. Yeah, for sure. It's going to be up to Hollow the Wise to maintain a high level of accuracy as Mabel's actually finds the first drop very early on. And a similar situation begins to develop like LN1 here where that break was before that 400 combo cap and this map being a little bit more uh, densely patterned. The re road to recovery is a tiny bit easier. It won't basically cost you your entire run as they start to make their uh, recovery run here. 99.2 for that about 4 tenths behind at the moment, but they were able to close the gap on LN1. I I'm pretty sure they're able to, they're going to be able to close the gap here on this map, but we're already in that second third and Hollowise has not found any slip ups just yet. Yeah, I think Hollowise just in general has the better 300 ratio uh, that was shown on LN1. Currently it's being shown on Rice 2. And with this lead right now, I think Hollowise could afford a break. We are getting into a little uh, break section, but once it gets back into the thick of it, it is going to ramp up just a little bit. The chord stream really gets kind of dense. The phrases aren't super long, but Mabel's finding yet another break. Yeah, that one might be the straw that breaks the camel's back on this run. They were doing pretty well to get themselves back into this, but as soon as they found that miss, Hollowwise's lead basically doubled in size from about 12,000 points and now skyrocketing to about 20,000, but they do find the trade back, but there might not be enough time for Mabel's to take advantage here. That being said, that lead is slowly starting to get chipped away at by Mabel's, but probably still not going to be enough time here. No, I don't think so. I mean, Mabel's did a really good job in keeping up for most of the map despite that early break, but again, just outshone in terms of 300s is very close. Hollowwise actually picking up more 200s, but I don't think it would have mattered too many bad judgments for Mabel's. But I think that honestly, LN1 and Rice 2 were very, very close. I mean, pretty much only separated by a break or two. And so Mabel's, even though it is down 0 2, uh, could take the next couple of points. I mean, it's hard to say with hybrids, right? Yeah, for sure. But. Otherwise, actually going to go for Rice 3 here. Going to go into level 0. So maybe sensing that they might have the advantage in terms of overall Rice accuracy. Maybe not wanting to go down into some of the harder hybrid picks. Uh, and maybe just finding the path of least resistance when it comes to overall difficulty. If they can act their way through the easier stuff, they won't really need to stress themselves on the harder stuff. That is a pretty good plan. I mean... Since you've exhausted your only pick in LN1, it's good to go for a Rice pick that's decently similar to Jade Star, the map that you won on. And level zero has quite a bit of streams, decent amount of jacks. Uh, these streams clocking in at 160 BPM, so a bit faster than Jade Star. Obviously, a little less dense, but still similar in patterning. Yeah, for sure. Very strong starts from both players getting into the second quarter of the chart. Within about a tenth of a percent of each other, both holding strong above that at a 9.8 mark. It's really just going to come down to who blinks first, who finds that first run of 200s, or maybe even just a bad streak of 300s. That might be the margin that these two are playing on. Now that they both kind of settled into this match, maybe some of the nerves have been exhausted out of their system as we get into the first light core stream section. Both players handling it pretty strong, but the accuracies are now even up here through this first couple of bursts. Yeah, I think Hollow is taking a couple of uh, bad judgments as well as a 200, but Mabel's finding that first break. Hollow is finally treading it back. I think the accuracies basically are equalized. We're going to have to see who shows up in this last third of the map because anything could still happen. Yeah, for sure. I think that trade actually benefited 
Mabel's, despite the fact that the lead has swung back to Hollow the Wise, the fact that they dropped first, they're going to be able to cross that 400 combo cap just that little bit sooner. And now that the accuracies are neck and neck, they might be able to claw this lead back with just enough time. It's going to come down to the last couple of notes. Got to keep these as clean as possible. Cannot afford to find any more 200s. Hollow Wise still holding on to the lead. Have they done enough? through the majority of this chart to hang on it is 709 points watch the releases here at the end oh, oh that, is, that is way too close for comfort 682 points the difference and oh it was i was surprised that the 100 and miss do not override the 200 and the 50 but oh at the end of the day that ratio difference <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, I mean, if that map were just a little bit longer, uh, Mabel's would have been able to get back up to the combo cap before Hollowwise, so it really depended on how many objects were left in that map, and unfortunately, uh, only about 300 after the, both of them broke, so Mabel's not being able to get up to the combo cap and accrue a little bit of a lead as Hollowwise tried to catch up, uh, spelled the end. Where Mabel's on that map, but again, just another close map, only separated by 600 points. These uh, maps are just so, so close, and Hollow of the Wise should be sweating right now, honestly. In a good position right now, up 3-0, but I mean, you can't take your foot off the gas pedal. <laughs>